Hey guys, what's up? Frank Shane here with REIClub.com and I hope you're having a great week. Uh, today's video, we're gonna be covering what you need to know about hard money loans. I'll be referring to it as HMLs throughout the video. So HML loans are short-term, high-fee, high-rate loans that allow real estate investors to purchase rehab projects quickly and easily that they would otherwise not be able to do using traditional lenders. Now, historically, guys, hard money loans were purely equity-based, meaning the loan approval rested on the details of the deal and the property. Now, however, due to the losses suffered in the industry, they have moved towards requiring decent credit scores and sometimes down payments to reduce their risk. Now, why do people use HMLs? Well, it's easier to qualify. They're still asset-based, but now your credit and capital are secondary. Once again, guys, this comes to the strength of the deal. Next are the shorter term loans. Uh, rather than one, five, ten years, you're looking at a sev just for several months, okay? Uh, next, it allows you to do quick closings and make all cash quick close offers and typically you're able to close much faster than traditional lenders. Um, HMOs also allow you to buy junkers. Traditional lenders won't loan to rehab probably. They don't typically do. And you're able to, uh, through HMOs, you're able to fund uh, your repairs for your, for your investments. Next, you're able to qualify for higher loan amounts. Since it's based on the strength of your deal, you can even buy a million dollar home if the numbers are right. Uh, last thing, guys, you can use it also for interim financing. Um, these are all considered bridge loans. Sometimes they're as quick as 72 hours of your request for uh, funding, okay? Now, let's talk about some terms you should be familiar with when approaching HMLs. First things first, the points, guys. These are additional upfront percentage fees uh, on, the, uh, on the loan amount. Next are the rates. These are monthly interest associated with your loan amount. Typically, you'll see anywhere between 12 to 18%. Now, payments, guys, usually monthly interest only payments, possibly accrued, and this is where the monthly in interest is added on to the principal. The length of your loan, guys, term usually around six to 12 months. And uh, one of the more common things you guys should know is the LTV, which we call the loan to value. They max out generally around 65 to 70% of the after repaired value, or the ARV. So after you repair a home, market value is 100,000, the HMLs will cover 65 to 70,000, okay? So you have about $30,000 of room, including your repairs, okay? Now, as mentioned before, uh, your HMLs do cover repairs, they're called repair draws. They have a draw request form, uh, which you need to fill out to identify the completed repairs, and this is where you provide your invoices from your vendors, and they'll pay out your contractors accordingly. They will not advance you money to initiate these repairs, only upon completion. Now, this last, this uh, other category I want to talk about is qualifying or the underwriting criteria. I've been saying this throughout the video, the strength of your offer, guys, probably has to have um, significant equity there. So they do look at the after repaired value. Uh, credit scores, like I said, do matter now. Um, anywhere between 550 to 650 is what I've kind of seen throughout. Um, cash on hand, they would like to see that you have 5 10% of the loan amount to cover payments expenses. If you cannot afford to make monthly payments or interest payments, you typically cannot afford to take out this type of loan, okay? Uh, down payments, they want to see that you have skin in the game, and the percentage does vary by lender, but 10% is not uncommon. Uh, minimum loan amount, regardless of how cheap the property is, some lenders do require a minimum loan. And of course, guys, paperwork, HMLs are tend to be easier than uh, traditional lenders, so the paperwork tends to be much less. Of course, guys, I'm not gonna leave you without, where do you find hard money lenders? Aria Club being one of the top real estate resources out on the web, guys, I included a link to our site where we've included some uh, popular HMLs. They are free for you. They have their address, phone numbers, contact info, their website, the whole shebang. Check it out in the description below. You can also attend real estate clubs. HMLs frequently attend these clubs as well as talk to other investors um, who have worked with HMLs, guys. Great place to network. Internet search is always a great place. Um, Google, hard money loans, hard money lenders. Um, title companies constantly deal with private lenders and closing attorneys. Great places to look as well. But guys, bottom line is this. Although hard money lenders or loans are relatively expensive in, the term, in terms of fees, uh, interest rates, etc. These loans allow real estate investors to make all cash quick close offers and really just stay in the game for short term rehab deals. If the investor's short term exit strategy, for instance, doesn't work out, the investor can place longer financing on the property to reduce their operating costs. 
As you can see guys, HTMLs have changed over time. I hope this video kind of gave you a better understanding of it. Please be sure to leave comments below about what you thought about it, what you'd like to see in the future, because that matters to me. So guys, please uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel so we can keep you informed when new videos are posted. I can't wait to talk to you guys next week. Take care, good investing, bye-bye.